The next thing we're going to talk about is a common problem which you need to know about. And that problem is someone who has had an operation, a belly operation, and postoperatively, they have some abdominal distension, they have not passed gas, they have not had a bowel movement, but they have no pain. They may be uncomfortable, but they don't have pain. They have abdominal distension, not passing gas, no bowel movement, but no pain. Guys, this is paralytic ileus. It is unbelievable common. It is so common. And it is caused by the body's reaction to an abdominal operation. And the most important thing is you just have to be patient and sit on the patient. Now, when I say sit on the patient, I do not mean sitting physically on the patient. I mean just being patient. Guys, everyone is different. And sometimes you'll have an ileus for two days. Sometimes you'll have one for five days. But you have to be patient. Remember this more than anything else. They don't have pain. Do they have discomfort? Yeah. I mean, they're, un they're uncomfortable, but they don't have pain. Let me tell you a story. When I was my first year in practice, we used to do a lot of stomach surgeries then. Why? Because they didn't have any medications like H2 blockers or PPIs. They didn't have that for ulcers. Ulcers were really common. Nowadays, everyone knows about ulcers and things like that. They get a bellyache, they go to the uh, 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 drugstore and there's over-the-counter H2s and PPIs that they buy. But in those days, ulcer disease was very common and we used to do a lot of stomach surgery, okay? So I did a stomach surgery on a guy with an ulcer. And post-operatively, oh, it was probably around three days, four days post-op, patient didn't pass gas, no bowel movement, distended, no pain. And I was just uncomfortable and I was thinking to myself, I must have done something technically wrong. And my late senior partner at that time, he kept telling me, he said, Mark, just sit on the patient, just wait. And I was just uncomfortable. And I even went so far as to put the patient on the schedule for the next day for an operation. Because I thought in my head, I said, I, I must have done something. I must have done something technically wrong. And my late partner kept saying, Mark, just sit on the patient. Well, the next day, I do my rounds, patient passed gas and had a bowel movement and was fine. So why do I tell you the story? I tell you the story because, and I tell you these things because I want you to, to know, I really was so uncomfortable. I almost took that patient back to surgery, which would have been the wrong thing to do. So guys, if you have an ileus and that's no pain, no pain, no pain, you sit on that patient, you wait. Can there be reasons why they have ileus other than uh, uh, common causes? Yeah, hypokalemia, sepsis. But again, these are uncommon. The most common reason is just having the operation. Be patient, be patient. Now, I'm gonna talk to you about something which is very unusual, but you will see. Follow me. 
patient comes in from a nursing home, old patient, and they complain of abdominal distension, no gas, no bowel movement, no pain, and they look like a big ball. They're all distended. Now, they didn't have an abdominal operation. They didn't have an abdominal operation. And you get an x-ray or even a CAT scan, and you see a huge dilated colon, a huge dilated colon. Is this a type of ileus? Yeah, but it has a special name. And this is called Ogilvy syndrome. Ogilvy syndrome. The other name is pseudo obstruction of the colon. It's not well understood, but it's not a mechanical obstruction. It's a functional obstruction. That's so important, I'm gonna say it again. It's not a mechanical obstruction. It's a functional obstruction, a physiologic obstruction. Why? We think it is because of the anticholinergic effect of the psychotropic medications that they're getting. They're in the nursing home, they're getting medications for their uh, 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 issues. And for some reason, they get a marked anticholinergic effect of these medications. It's not an anatomical obstruction, it's a functional obstruction. Okay, so they come in and they have a big colon. So you might say, well, just sit on them, do nothing. Well, you can't do that. You can't sit on an Ogilvy patient. Why? Test question, life question. Because if you sit on this patient and do nothing, test question, what part of the colon will rupture? I'll tell you which part. It's the cecum. If you don't do anything, the cecum will rupture. Why? Because you all learned of the law of Laplace. The law of Laplace. Remember the law of Laplace? The greater the radius or diameter, the greater the tension. The greater the radius, the greater the tension. And you all know that the largest part of the colon is the cecum. And so if you did nothing for this Ogilvy patient, if you did absolutely nothing for this Ogilvy patient, they'd rupture their cecum. So what do you do? Well, years ago, we used to give them cholinergic agents like neostigmine to stimulate their colon we don't do that anymore. Why? Guys, if you've ever given a patient neostigmine or any cholinergic agent, they will hate you. I'll tell you why they'll hate you. Because the side effects are unbelievable. Uh, terrible side effects. We don't use neostigmine or any cholinergic agents for Ogilvy syndrome. What we do very simply, is a colonoscopy. They don't need a prep. They don't need anything. Their colon's full of air. It's this big. We just pass the scope and suck out the air, and we are done. And that is it. So in this day and age, the treatment of an Ogilvy, you can't sit on it. Cecum will rupture. You do a colonoscopy, and you will see this. You will see this. Just remember, please remember that Ogilvy syndrome is not, is not 
an anatomical obstruction. It's a functional physiologic obstruction. And you'll see it. And the treatment is colonoscopy. You don't need a prep. You don't do nothing. You just put in the scope and you suck out the air. It's very, very quick.